but it actually happened directly to one of my teachers, two of my teachers actually, it was a pair of teachers. And it's the most <laughs> amazing story. This took place in Syria, uh, before the war, before everything, subhanAllah. And they said that the, these two teachers are, uh, like they actually are, like they're dean teachers and they're actually teachers in a school, yeah? Um, and so they, were, they would uh, often stay after school and do lesson planning for their students the next day. Right, so 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 because they stayed after school a little later to work on their lesson planning, um, always the, the lady who was coming to clean the school would often see them. Right, she'd be able like mopping and cleaning and sweeping and mopping and so on. Um, and so when she'd come into the room where they are working, she would just say, "Oh, don't worry, don't get up, don't get up. Just uh, lift your leg like this, lift your foot up like this. You know, I'll just wipe underneath it. You know." So they always thought, "Oh, she's so cute, she's so nice." She said, "Oh, Monica, you know." Then she wipe there, she would take, go on her way. That's all they knew. They didn't know anything else about her, and that she would just, you know, do the cleaning. Uh, and then one day, they said after some time, Annie, one day she came to them and she had a little uh, invitation. And she said, I really would like to invite you to my wedding. And they thought, oh, how nice, how sweet, subhanAllah, like that's so kind, right? So they said, of course, of course. So they thought, oh, they're kind of doing something nice, Annie, to <laughs> accept the favor, <laughs> accept this uh, wedding invitation. So they said, okay, okay, of course, of course, we'll come. And please, please come. Okay, okay, we'll come. So she takes the, <laughs> so when the day comes for the wedding, they take the wedding invitation and they're following the directions of how to get there. And they notice that the address is in a very fancy place in Syria. Like as in to say, like, you know, where you have like these big mansions, you know, like big places, right? Oh, this is before the war, subhanAllah. And, um, and so they thought they said to themselves, or talking amongst themselves, the two teachers, and they said, oh, I wonder if she works at this person's uh, house. Maybe she cleans their house. And when she came to get married, they said, oh, use our house for like the nice wedding reception area. You know, I don't know. They're coming up, they're coming up with scenarios. And um, they said that they showed up to the, the invitation dressed like this, like this, like in a coat, like the one I'm wearing, like this, like a coat. Uh, this is their typical uniform, if you will, <laughs> not uniform, but like, you know, like religious people, they wear like abaya, they wear like their, you know, so they didn't wear anything necessarily fancy. And so they, they showed up kind of regular, regular looking. Okay, so they knocked on the door of this uh, mansion area, uh, house, and, you know, <laughs> they have their little invitation. And the person who opened the door looked like somebody who was working in that house. And so, you know... <laughs> Such a funny story. Open the door, and she, 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 they said like this, literally like this happened. They, they, she looked them up and down, like, because <laughs> they were dressed so frumpy, okay? Inshallah. <laughs> and then they're this fancy, like, uh, mansion place. And she said, who are you? <laughs> and they're like, uh, we're so-and-so, and so-and-so. -and -so. We're the teacher, we're teachers at uh, the school where, um, you know, the, the, the bride uh, works. Um, <laughs> And she was like, she's still looking at them, like really like suspicious of them, like you're you're dressed frumpy and you know you're out of place, like what's going on? And they and she said, how do you know her? And they said, we're we're the teachers, and she's the janitor, like she she works. With. And that lady who opened the door that was talking, she laughed and laughed. She said, janitor. <laughs> <laughs> she got really offended. <laughs> and then they heard the voice of the actual bride, janitor, right? They heard her, her voice coming from on top, you know, like where the stairs are. And they could hear her, and she's coming rushing down the stairs to meet them. Oh, I can't believe you made it. I can't believe you came. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for coming. Right? And so she, she excuses the other lady out of the way, and she hugs them, and she's like, thank you, thank you for coming. And they're so confused. Like, they don't... <laughs> Yeah, what's going on? And so they they enter in, and they're kind of like just like, what's the story here? And then she says to them, "Well, it is my wedding, and this is my house." And they're like, "What's going on? What on earth?" As in like the house you clean? And then she's like, "Nope, this is my house." And Subhanallah, what happened was she this truly is her house and this truly is the family she was born into if you will and when she became more religious and she started like to study and to sit with her teachers and so on one of her teachers said to her you have too much kibid <laughs> right and maybe you don't even realize it because it's just your upbringing the way you were raised and she said well, how do i fix this what do i do and they said to her well sometimes to break your ego you have to carry the big water jug down the street so what's the equivalent of that she said well what am i supposed to do they said what are the what is something that you can't imagine yourself doing 
She said, I cannot imagine myself cleaning someone else's mess. So she literally applied for a job to be the janitor in that school and completely disguised who she was. They were blown away. So it's a real story. This is a real story. Like in the modern time, not like oldie time stories. <laughs> this is a real story <laughs> of people who are still alive today. SubhanAllah. And I think to myself, SubhanAllah, it is possible. It is possible, SubhanAllah, to realize that you might have something. We call these the diseases of the heart, right? Amrad al qalb, yani. And you can literally pinpoint, when you start to study these, pinpoint which of them are most you are most affected by. And each one of them has an antidote, yani a solution, a treatment. Each one of them has a treatment. And sometimes you have to do opposite of, like in her case, right, to break it. I share this with you because it seems like really fantastical, and it is, mashallah, but it's possible. And it's also important to remember and to remind this is, I mean, I, you know, she's not coming up with this um, out of the blue, and her spiritual teachers didn't come up with this um, you know, kind of like, uh, what are they doing? This kind of extremist. No, they're literally following the examples. Love people like <laughs> Sayyidina Umar radiallahu anhu. And the many, many Sahaba too. I mean, he's not certainly not the only one. But it's rem important to remember these kind of um, greats. Because if you aspire to be great, sometimes you have to take great measures. And there's this beautiful example of Sayyidina Umar radiallahu anhu. And it's the time where he is Khalifa. So he's the one literally in charge. And they see him. Uh, walking down the street carrying a big barrel of water on his back. And so they come up to him, they run up to him and say, ah, Amir uh, don't you, give, give us that, like you, you shouldn't be the one carrying it. Like there's other people who can do that. Why are you doing this? Right, out of like, out of honor, honoring him. And he says, uh, he said, he, he admitted and said, uh, be right before this, a group of people like a delegation came to Medina to meet me and they were praising me and saying good things about me and I felt a little bit enter my heart. So he took the big thing to kind of break his ego and make sure that there wasn't anything, any of that. We start, believe, we start believing the praise people give us. You keep hearing praise, you start believing it about yourself, right? So he immediately right, wanted to make sure that he was not, that he was doing what the, you know, a, a laborer is doing. And here is the Khalifa, right, of, of, 